Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin. We're back on the show floor in a really nice booth at ODG. We're going to take a look at some AR products that are actually in use right now in industry and they're making their way over to consumer products. They got Pete Jamison here from ODG. So why don't we start first of all letting people know that AR is actually something people are using right now in many different industries to a large extent. So tell me about what this product is and uh, we'll segue to the consumer one after that. Sure. So basically what I'm holding in my hand is our brand new R9 product, which is uh, really a bridge product from industry and enterprise into the top end of the consumer marketplace. So today, the current product that we have, this is announced today, um, this and its companion product, the R8, will be available in the second half of the year. The current product, the R7, which is our seventh generation AR smart glasses, actually being used in a number of applications across industry, um, enterprise, B2B applications. For instance, um, healthcare. Um, whether it's a surgeon working in an operating room that wants um, vital information pumped to the glasses so they don't have to take an eyes off a patient, whether it is uh, um, the ability for people with visually impaired uh, issues to wear the glasses and to be able to see again, um, the replacement of screens in various procedures, whether it's uh, arthroscopic surgery. So now instead of me having as a, as a doctor looking away and looking back, right, I, I have eyes on the patients. And basically um, wearing your computer, right? And so instead of having to look down or having it in your hands, you're actually wearing a state-of-the-art mobile computer. Say mobile computer. This is an Android computer, right? That, that's correct. So, what we're announcing uh, at the show is the next generation, our Ace generation, and that's basically today made up of two products: the R9 and its companion product, the the R8. And the price on this one is a little high, right? So yeah, so this is a bridge product, right? Really after uh, light industrial into mobile media consumption and a really powerful developer platform. This is roughly, will be in the neighborhood of 1800 bucks um, when it's available in the second half of the year. And uh, it's powerful little brother, um, the R8 available roughly around the same time for less than $1,000. Wow, so that's, it's finally within a, a reach of a consumer and something that has some horsepower. This is with the new Snapdragon processor. Yeah, so they're, they both, the, the, uh, the platform, the eighth generation platform, both support the 835 processor, Snapdragon's latest and greatest um, mobile computer, basically processing chip, um, uh, 10 nanometer process, very small, incredibly powerful. Uh, the heart of the product are two stereoscopic HD displays running at 80 frames a second and 720p. Uh, 40 uh, degree field of view, so that's basically equivalent to a roughly a 100 inch um, television at about six feet away and that's a beautiful cinematic quality experience right that you can take anywhere with you whether you're on a train or a bus or walking down the street in your living room um, and gives you all of the experiences that you have on your mobile devices today familiar favorites from email to chat to browsing but also folds in augmented reality. The ability to take digital content and inform or interact with the real world. So you can overlay things and have those things kind of line up with, with the actual thing you're looking at. That's exactly right. That's exactly are there some applications already ready to do that on these? Um, so, so there are er early days, right? So we're just announcing the platform. And one of the, some of the new technology that allows us to do that is we have a sixth off um, sensor, um, visual odometry that basically takes high resolution snapshots of your room and then compares that with the IMU and gives you motion vectors. So we can take digital content now and set it in the real world and actually interact with it. And then it also runs all the Android apps you might have in your account, right? Yeah, it's exactly right. Um, Android 7, uh, Nougat, so it's basically an Android computer that you wear. We have a reticle OS that, that's a wrapper OS that wraps around the top of it, and it um, allows you to get access to the IMUs, to all the cameras. Uh, this particular model has 1080p dual cameras, so it's stereoscopic display, so I can actually see 3D, and now I can actually capture 3D. Interesting. So it's got dual cameras on here to capture 3D imagery, and then that would, of course, work with anything that you could watch 3D stuff on. Exactly. So now I have the ability to capture 3D first-person videos. If I have a 3D television, I can play it on that. Um, if I have multiple headsets, I can play it on that. Very, 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 very cool technology. Very neat. Now, optically, what do we have on the other side of the... Uh, so mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about this a little bit. So these are our custom displays, um, and basically 
this gives you the appearance of that big floating television that you can see around and also see through from an augmented reality perspective. We can change the opacity, the, uh, the brightness of the image. So if I want to watch a 3D movie or if I want to do mobile VR, right, where I have an interactive experience, if I want to do email, I can I can do that now out with this giant television set and have immersive experience basically anywhere. And I see that you're controlling the, the headset with your phone, so you can get, I guess, like a mouse equivalent on your phone to control things on screen? Yeah, that's, there are a number of different ways to control it. One of them is to Bluetooth connect a phone, and whatever application I start in the glasses, the phone becomes that input device. Oh, interesting. So, so that gets around having to have a keyboard to look around with. Exactly. You, can t you have everything you need in your pocket, and there are a number of other ways to interface with the glasses as well. So I'm going to put these on right now. Let's take a look. They're very lightweight. Yeah, so the, um, the R8s are just a tad over four ounces. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing in here. And I looked at these now at Pepcom the other night in a very bright room, or a relatively bright room, and now we're in this dark room. And the display quality is superb on this. It's really crisp and clear, a lot crisper than I remember it looking last time. And it is a very large screen that you see uh, in front of your face. So there's been a lot of improvement here with, uh, with this product line over the last two years. Yeah, so I mean, one of our clear focuses is in that visual experience, and you know, our goal is to deliver that visual experience that really can substitute for any of the displays in your house, right, or in your life. So whether it's your mobile phone, whether it's your tablet, whether it's your television, and then with the R9, which we'll talk about in a second, a digital cinema. I'm watching two distinct displays going into my eyes right now. You are. So each each um, display being run independently, and we have the IMUs turned on in the glasses for this particular apl application, so you have the ability to look in a 360 degree sphere. Right. It's, and it's very quick, and it's, I have an HTC Vive at home, and I can say the head tracking feels as, as good as that, much better than you'd see on a mobile phone. Yeah, uh, great. I'm 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 glad you you see that. Yeah, it's really it's looking pretty good here. <laughs> so now, how do you get around getting the eyes lined up properly? Because that's often been an issue with some of these 3D things getting the right alignment. Uh, is this auto align? Um, yeah. So the one one of the things that we do is our design supports basically anybody's IPD, right? And and the ergonomics required to fit all head sizes, noses, ears position. So that's part of our our intellectual property. Um, not only the design of this, but also the ability to set it up. Um, calibrated it uh, and, and deliver it and have it work just about for everybody. What's the battery life on something like this? Uh, great question, right? So to, to be honest with you, it's very similar to your mobile uh, device. So if you're doing um, maybe familiar favorites that you do, like watching the, this movie or browsing or email or music, and you're going to get anywhere from four to six hours of battery life. If you are doing some of the more sophisticated AR or mixed reality or even mobile VR, where I have the IMUs going and I have the front-facing cameras and I have the, the, the sixth off, then you know that's that's a little bit more uh, taxing on the battery. Um, that'll last probably an hour and a half to two hours. But because this has a USB-C port on on the uh, ear horn, you can plug in an external battery and run all day. Plug yourself into your battery and you're good to go. So. Really cool stuff. So uh, when can we expect to see these? So this one will be on the marketplace from a developer perspective in the third quarter and then ramping to full production for fourth quarter. Under $1,000. Under $1,000. Very good. Well, thanks a lot. We look forward to checking this out when it comes out. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lan.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lan.tv slash s.